you the magician. An hour ago, I was down at the dumps, depressed. Now, I'm really enjoying myself. Me too, Charles. You know, I feel as if I'd known you. Oh, dear. That's a horrible cliché, isn't it? Another thing I forgot to tell you, I love clichés. <laughs> what? I was just thinking of all those movies I've seen where two strangers meet and have a romance. Oh, is that what we do? I certainly hope so. But it's usually in a gondola in Venice or a handsome cab through Central Park. But a cable car. You don't like cable cars? I love cable cars. I adore cable cars. <laughs> <laughs> found out about my husband, what he was doing, and with whom, lots of whom's. I didn't know what to do or what to feel. First I was hurt, then angry, and frightened. Frightened? Scared to death. I thought if my husband didn't want me anymore, anybody else? They came to St. Gregory's to find out, right? It seems so cheap, doesn't it? Come on, Claire, nothing you could ever do would be cheap. Wanting to be loved is something we all need. You, Charles, what do you need? I'm not sure. I think I'd like to know why I feel that everything has failed after all these years. Why am I here, alone in a hotel room? Don't have to be alone. Was oh, that an invitation? It's whatever you want it to be. Look, you're here, I'm here. We've had a great time. On Monday, I'll be gone. We could be together until then, if you want to. Who wouldn't? My husband, for one. He's a fool. So's your wife. <laughs> What shall we drink to? We've both shed a lot of tears trying to make other people happy. Tears to no more tears. No more tears. <laughs> you know, when I was um, younger, I was always worried about my next move. And now? Still worried about my next move. I want you to make love to me. Disappoint you. Charles, I'm as scared as you are. We've both been in the dark long enough. We do all the things I, I never thought I'd do again. Oh, Claire. 
Would you send up a bell and please? You'll be right up. Thank you. I guess that's it. Looks like it. Why are you leaving? I've got to. You still love him? Probably not. I know he doesn't love me. Then why? I married Bob when I was 19. I guess because it was the thing to do. Maybe it's loyalty, I don't know. 19 years of marriage, shouldn't that mean something? Shouldn't we mean something? I was angry at a philandering husband. You were ending a marriage. Is that all this meant to you? You made me so happy. Oh, Claire, I love you. Please. You promised. Mrs. Langley? Yes. Ha, ha, ha. 